Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're just gonna play a random run because I have nothing else to do in Isaac, or at least nothing that I remembered that I need to do, so we'll just play. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good curse room. You might be thinking, oh, don't go to the curse room initially when you're blue baby. Well, look at that. Freaking got dead cat nine lives and we didn't even take any damage leaving the room because I got hurt before the item actually was added to my inventory. Dude, nice. So of course I would like to become guppy, but I went into the curse room really just to get, look for HP, because oftentimes in that curse room you can find rooms that give you uh, two blue hearts or two black hearts in there, and I, that's what I was really looking for. I, God, I hate this guy. I should have tried to kill him when he was close to the, uh, when he was close to the tinted rock, but that's okay. I don't really want to use or take Fear Shot, because I'm, I'm not a big fan of Fear Shot. Or is Perfume Charming Tears? No, it's it's Fear Shot. I'd much rather use a bomb and re-roll it. And I'd, I could grab the Tinted Rock. Ah, let's re-roll. Sure, I'll take Eve's Mascara. I, I like getting Eve's Mascara, because even though it is a range downgrade effectively, it is a nice damage upgrade, and you can usually get tier upgrades pretty easily, you know, boss fights can drop them very frequently. And this doesn't raise our tier cap from five to 10, so we can get double damage at five rate of fire, which is lovely if you can make it happen. And if we find a bomb, we might wanna go and explore the uh, the tinted rock to see if there's anything inside of that, but I might just also wanna go fight the boss. Technically, you know, our DPS is exactly the same. We just have a small range downgrade, but I, I, I like this item. It's interesting, because you can get some interesting things to happen with it. But also, if we do become guppy, then our flies will be doing double damage. If we have any spiders, they'll be doing double damage, so. You know, I'm up for it. Shot speed down is also good for homing, says Food Importer. You're not wrong! That's a good point. If we get some sort of homing shots, we're gonna want to have a, a slow, bullet speed. It is gonna make it a little bit more difficult to hit enemies sometimes, like, <laughs> that guy was a little bit tough, but. Ah. I just need one bomb. Give me one bomb, game. I wanna go to that tinted rock. We don't really need it because we have nine lives, so we technically have, you know, if you wanna get really technically correct about this. We have nine spirit hearts right now. We don't need the tinted rock, unless it gives us something like small rock, which would be lovely. I believe all damage upgrades will also count double. Don't quote me on that. And I'm also told that Box of Friends will work for Super Meat Boy, Super Meat Girl. And if, it, if that's the case, I probably have already done the unlock then. Lovely. You know what, damage doesn't really matter, does it? We die, who cares? HP. That's a garbage pickup, but we'll take it anyways, and we'll leave. I could go to the shop, buy a bomb, then go to the Tinted Rock, but I don't think we need to do that. I wonder, does my, that is such a bad dodge. Does Myconium synergize with the poop item? Myconium, I think, makes it so that some poops are black poops. Because if so, then I would love to get that trinket so that we could actually get some sick-ass, sick-ass nasty black poops. <laughs> I wonder if um, Midas' touch works with the poop to give you gold poops. Or if the clown works with it to give you uh, rainbow poops. That'd be cool. There's a bomb. 
We need that. Hey, we can see the map too. Wait, we had the map last time, didn't we? No, we didn't. Oh my god, I cannot remember. Could blow that up looking for pills, but we don't really know of any super good pills in our rotation. If there's like a balls of steel pill, then absolutely. But who knows, maybe we'll get a lot of money on the floor. Buy PhD. Be able to see what's in our pill rotation then. I would love to get piercing shots, spectral tears. Tear effects that might make the uh, tear downgrade a little bit less. Oh, I can I can get that. We'll get it we'll get it later, because it's not amazing. Anything to just make the tears downgrade a little bit less impactful by giving us a tear effect. Oh, you know what would be pretty good? Maybe Ludovico? Ludovico technique? That's better. That's probably not better. We're not fast right now. Ah, scapular is amazing. Blue baby, nine lives, scapular. Oh, that's a pretty sweet pickup. Because it should, well we should not have taken those hearts yet. It should allow us to, thank you. It should allow us to not be immune to death, but whenever we go down to one half of a heart, we should get a full heart back immediately. This is something that's gonna be reusable every single room too, so we could, we could, we could use this to our advantage. Little Horn. Little Horn is kind of gonna be kind of annoying for us. Be oh, what? That was in range? Because he, he flies away from me and my shot speed is so low that it's gonna be kind of difficult to actually hit him with bullets. Fuck. <laughs> Ideally, here I would like him to just hurt himself with his bombs. Eh, didn't really work. One exploded like a half second before he teleported, which is unfortunate. It doesn't matter how much HP we have um, going into the uh, deal with the devil, because we should be able to take any item we want, leave, die, respawn inside the room. Just need to make sure we can actually kill the freaking boss here. Stop that. Yes! No, that wasn't, that didn't hit him? Tier upgrade, tier upgrade. <sighs> well, again, it doesn't really matter. So, I think we should go in here first. And you know what? This is not a bad set of pickups. Uh. I think I do want the book instead of Monstro's Tooth. It's probably a little bit safer, and also it gives us a higher deal with the devil chance anyways. So now we'll grab the HP. We're done with the floor. Ugh. I guess we'll leave. Hmm. <laughs> Should probably just use it every once in a while. Wow, 13 damage! If only we had this as our base damage. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> this is silly. My range is so bad. What a, I would kill for a range upgrade right now. That's the thing, what, I always take Eve's Mascara and then I always think, wow, my range is so bad. But I still like the item. It's an item that can synergize very well in the late game, but I guess maybe early it is a little bit impactful due to the range. Every shot we land is, you know, worth double damage though because of it. I 
One left. And there's this guy. Okay. Good lord. We need HP. That much is obvious. We need tears. We need range. We need a lot of stuff. I need Guppy's head. Well, I mean, Guppy's head now would just make me Guppy, which would be lovely. You're gonna keep firing, huh? Oh god, I'm drowsy. Hematemesis. Hematemesis? I would love to get uh, Dark Bum. Now that we know that pill's in the rotation, it's basically just free spirit hearts whenever we pop it. With Dark Bum, that is. Two bombs and a key. No, one bomb and a key for three bombs and a key. Is, is this right? One bomb. And a key for three bombs and a key. Sure. I'll make that trade. Oh. At least we're killing spiders in one hit, if we can actually hit them. You know what? Guess we'll fight the boss. <laughs> Stain's not too bad. Even during this attack. Oh, lovely. Well, there's Scapular, you know, saving my life, giving me an extra one heart. I think, no, I think we have to complete a room before Scapular recharges, because then you can't, no, it just, it doesn't activate on Blood Banks and uh, Judgments. That's what it is. Oh, you didn't die in one shot. That's weird. One of those um, silkworms died in one shot, one of them didn't. I did not expect that. Maybe I uh, hit the other one with a stray shot, or maybe he took damage by walking into a poop. That's really good. Um, I'm gonna grab it later, though. I'll grab it before we leave the floor. Because I want to keep exploring, I gotta find the freaking item room. But that is going to be worth a lot of HP. And that must mean that I do have Super Meat Girl unlocked, because Super Bandage is her unlock, I believe. What you get for getting a Super Meat Girl on a run. Also, can I stop getting HP from boss fights, please? <laughs> oh, uh, this should be a good way of getting a tears upgrade. You know, boss fights can drop them a lot, but... Uh, I guess on this run, we're only going to get... HP drops. Placenta doesn't even do anything for us. Careful. Careful. Is it actually a range upgrade? It says it's a range downgrade, but I think it's effectively a range upgrade. But it is also a speed upgrade. Thank you. Hey, French fry guy. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? What are you looking at? You're looking at Isaac. With very slow rate of fire and shot speed. I'll open it. Bomb bag. That's not bad. Bombs are actually. Well, you guys block. You block me in. Jerks. I don't know how I killed the other one. So this should be a library. Yep. Which means there's bookworm, which is very nice. And I know I don't have a key for the item room, but maybe we'll get a drop. You piece of garbage. Didn't even see him. Didn't even see him. I'm also trying whenever I can to like push myself forward so I get a little bit of extra distance on my shots. Just make them go a little bit farther. You know what I should do? I should have done this at the beginning of the freaking room. 
There's no reason not to use Book of Belial in this room. It's okay though, I mean, as, as long as we only get hit twice on a room, we technically don't really lose any HP, now do we? Are you gonna drop a key? You are the best gray elite ever. Oh, well, okay, I guess you don't really matter that much because we already had a key. Book of Secrets, show me the secret rooms, nope. So we have uh, extra bookworm. Oh, Cricket's head. See now, now the play with Eve's mascara is kind of playing out a little bit here. You see, now we have 13.95 damage with a very slow rate of fire. <laughs> it pains you how slow the fire rate is. Well, now we're doing, you know, double, double damage. So now the damage is a lot better, but it is still a pretty slow rate of fire. I'll, I'll grant you that. Gotta find a key. Might want to use a bomb to actually get the card. It's not gonna be Magician? No, Magician was the one that was always behind a locked door, but then, but then they fixed it so that it is a random card now, I believe. Power pill! Power pill. Wait, if you, if you kill the small one last, you get a an item? I forget how this works. Well, we got a drop. It's not a good drop. And we don't have power pill anymore, so I don't really want to interact with that mimic. Is that a power pill? If it's a power pill, I'll open the chest. Split some diarrhea. Well... Oh, excuse me for pooping everywhere. Pardon the poop. Pardon the poop. Starring Tom Hanks as the poop. Leonardo DiCaprio as the pooper. And Charlie Theron as the love interest. There's no reason to take that, that battery charge, but I don't have another, I don't, you know what? I don't have a good excuse for it, because it, there's literally no point. It, it harms me taking it. It doesn't actively do anything right now. It might do nothing in the future, but statistically speaking, it does harm me by taking that, because now if I get a book of revelations or a satanic Bible, I can't get a free charge off of it. So I will, I will submit that that was dumb. Again, should have probably done this at the beginning of the room instead of halfway through it, but. God, you guys are so annoying. Metamesis, well, the moon. I'm looking for like a curse room or something. A uh, mob or boss challenge room that I can use to teleport out of. We're not gonna make boss rush. <laughs> Freaking caves too at 17 minutes, my God. It would take the shovel and brimstone. And maybe even more than that at this point. There we go, curse room. We'll moon out of this card. We'll moon out of this room with the card. Yeah, because there's not a secret room next to it. Excuse me. There's a key, lovely. Is that a bomb chest? No, it's just a regular chest. I'm gonna blow up blow up this guy though, but. Wait, I don't, I don't want this trinket. <laughs> why, do I, why do I want curving slow shots? That seems horrible. I hate that I'm faster than my, uh, my bullets though. Twenty-five percent chance of a pedestal spawned from the treasure room appearing. Otherwise, the player receive a normal room clear reward. 
So there was a 25% chance that I would get a drop from this room. Okay, good to know. Mr. Wikiman, the food importer. It would have been nice to, to get an item from that. The thing is, is that whenever I do that, whenever I'm like, oh, uh, I should kill this guy first, I have a chance of getting an item, I never get an item, so I always think that it doesn't work. But it does work, it's just super rare. Good to know. LJ came and went, but I'm in the middle of a dodge. <laughs> Captain Nukehead! Thank you for the follow. When did I get this key? I don't remember getting this key ever. Uh, with plenty of bombs though, I will probably end up re-rolling this a little bit. We don't need a battery, we don't need the compass. What I want is really just kind of anything else. Give me damage upgrade. I don't know if we can get like tears upgrade. This is this is an item plus spirit hearts, I think. Yep. You know what? You, you might think that I'm disappointed in that. I'm not. It gets an HP upgrade out of the boss pool rotation, okay? That gives us a better chance of getting a tier rate upgrade. <laughs> so I'm not entirely saddened to see that. It also just gives us a lot of spirit hearts. It gave us three spirit hearts for 15 cents. I mean, that is market value. But still. <sighs> Lovely. Oh! Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what? I don't know how I didn't take damage there. You gotta die. This is a new room. I have never seen this room before. You know it's a new room because it's got those enemies on it. These frickin' pit mines. Wow, and these guys I'm killing in one shot. It's a much different difficulty than the last room we just had. Last room had frickin' jerks on it, and this room's like, hey, let's kill everything in one shot, why not? Now that's a good trinket, I want to say. Double Larry Jr., nice. Is this the one that shares the, uh, the health pool? Yeah, this is the one that shares the health pool, because now that I've gotten the health down low enough, each segment is dying in one shot. See, I knew that there was a uh, Larry Jr. that had a shared health pool. Health pool. Except that one for some reason didn't work, but the other ones did. We'll take Squeezy. Minus three rate of fire. We're getting there. <laughs> harbingers. You know what? I really don't want the Harbingers, so I'm gonna say no. Ah, fuck it, I'll take the Harbingers. I'd like something that could improve my damage output a little bit. There's one key we can't get to, one shop that might have a key for sale, but you know what? We'll just go to the next floor. We have a lot of HP now. Oh, red fly. You just, <laughs> you've always gotta be looking for the war fly though, cause that red fly will explode in your freaking face. Hey, war, could you, s that's a lock up penny. Get out. War, stop giving me explosive flies. And on that room, I just got scared of the fly. I'm like, oh god, the fly's gonna get me because I can't make the dodges. Thank you. Well, I basically did nothing on this room. Probably shouldn't have taken the, uh, the Harbingers, but it's... Effectively extra DPS, so I'm happy with it. Not that our DPS is lacking, it's just our rate of fire is lacking, so anything that can hit for us would be nice. He's 
These guys are pretty tanky. They're not hard, but they're definitely tanky. Thanks, famine? Is that pestilence? Chest for keys and keys for bombs. This is an awesome room. I like this room. I'll definitely take a key. We have plenty of bombs. We have bomb bag. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think a plus four damage upgrade, my god. Thanks, uh, no, this is famine. The other one must have been pestilence. And now we have more keys and bombs. And we didn't take any damage on the room. Our damage is amazing. Rate of fire needs some work. Shot speed needs some work too. This is like a perfect opportunity for like a... I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. Cat of Nine Tails. Give me that shot speed plus damage. Well, with four keys, now I'm thinking, hey, chests. You know what, that's good enough. Really, I just wanted the money anyways, and what was gonna be in that chest, but whatever, I'll take the money. Oh God. Creepy homeless. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. Ah, uh, there we go. Double our range, yes. It's not whip worm, it's good enough though. Hey, Twig Breaker, welcome back. Yeah, there's no real goal for the run, we're just playing some, uh, some Isaac now. What is with the creepy ass music? we can do about it. I went in. You know what? Like, I'm just actually, like, spending a little bit of time listening to the music right now. I didn't realize it was this creepy. That, that, like, sounds like someone's talking line in the... Oof. <laughs> Get out of here with that creep. And so, oh God, he was the explosive one. Onk, we respawn as Blue Baby. Well, we are Blue Baby, so <laughs> I'm not against the idea of respawning as Blue Baby. You got him, Death. Oh, he can kill him. Wait, that white enemy was not. You're not Death. I thought that was death. That was not death. That was the other guy. Get out of here, Deathfly. Deathfly, go! Thank you! Also, I just realized it is... Curse of the Labyrinth, so we're just gonna have to, to move on. That was very close. Just gonna have to find the other item room and then get out of here. It's unfortunate. Let's open these. Getting like a guppy's head would be amazing. Cursed eye, oh god. Also a luck up penny, nice. Oh! It's like, why can't, why can't I move? <laughs> that bomb was pushing me. Get out of here, bomb. One bomb for two chests, if we can make it work. Let's do it. Oh, I mean, it's technically worth it. I wish that there were some items in the shop worth buying. You know, give me um, Black Candle, because apparently Black Candle negates the teleporting you get from Cursed Eye, and that sounds amazing. Thank you, War. Just 
care careful of your flies, buddy. Like, when war works, he's fantastic, but half the time he blows you up. Which just makes him a big jerk. Uh, I don't know how I didn't take damage there, but I didn't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> My projectiles are so slow, they don't even reach that guy before he leaves. There's the boss fight. We, we could do one fight. Yeah, let's do one fight. 18.45 damage, we're fighting Gish, oh my god. So we're not even gonna get a roll at a uh, tier upgrade, we're just gonna get Gish. That sounds horrible. We could do Curse Die. I don't see it being super beneficial, but it might allow me to kind of output damage a little bit faster at certain targets. It's gonna charge very slowly though, so maybe it's not a great idea. Cursed eye or no balls. <laughs> I was hoping that wasn't a per throw, because then I would probably have wanted to save it for the per throw on the uh, other item room. Now this is interesting. Epiphora. 17. 14. 11. 8. So we can get down to an 8 rate of fire, which would be kind of nice for boss fights. If nothing else. We're done with the floor. Oh my god. Okay. Let's fight mom. I hope that war is gonna, you know, hold his own. He should. But I am worried about the explosive fly. Yeah, good. Explosive fly has been exploded. I hope we can get some good deals with the devil here. Give me the, oh man, the pact would be wonderful. Brimstone would be wonderful too. Mom's knife would be wonderful, of course, but I would love to get the pact. Okay, sure, we'll get cramps. I'm gonna get at least one corner that's safe. Well, next floor maybe. Oh yeah, you're right, it's not death that is the, uh, the one that summons the exploding flies, it's war. All right, look. It's been a while, okay? That's conquest, right? Yeah, the blind one must be conquest. Only there were shops. I didn't take Cursed Eye. I mean, you're not wrong. I didn't take Cursed Eye. Cursed Eye doesn't seem like an amazing pickup here, you know. But maybe it is actually going to be really good. It would have been really good because we could have... Uh, Again, charged up a lot of shots, but the thing is, our rate of fire is so slow, I think it would have taken too long to get the charges up. I don't know. Stop creating explosive flies, you piece of garbage. be a long run. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a fruitful run. A lot 
luck up. We have four luck. Will that mean we can get lucky and get a, a tier rate upgrade from the boss fight? That'd be wonderful. I'm killing enemies in like one shot each. That's true. Cursed Eye with the current damage that we have would have been doing a lot of damage to individual enemies, maybe killing him virtually instantly. But I don't know, I think the charge would have just been too long. Like it probably would have taken, you know, several seconds for it to get the charge up and I could have just been shooting at him during that time period, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe all right. Euthanasia, this is good, isn't it? It's good for us, because we have a, a high damage stat, maybe? Like, occasionally we'll, we'll fire out needles! Oh my god, that guy is right there. A hey, Warfly. Yeah, occasionally we'll fire out needles, and if they get a kill, we'll get a nice big explosion. That seems nice. It's gonna be a secret room right here, isn't there? I wasted 2 HP for nothing! I should have waited. I should have waited also. God damn it! Get out of here, greed! I want transcendence flying in the middle of the room. I'm gonna look out for lucky pennies. I don't know, is it. Oh god, is it lucky that we found a mini boss there? Yo, thank god we have this. Oh, I didn't see it. Thank God we have this uh, double range upgrade in the whip worm or whatever the worm this is. Floop worm. Floop. Also, I gotta remember Euphora. Euphoria. Just keep firing in one direction. You get a basically double rate of fire, which is nice, but unfortunately, again, you can't change your direction of attack, which is kind of the point of the item. Lovely. <laughs> well, it's about the boss. Is this an XL floor? No, it's just a long ass freaking floor. Oh my god. This has been like the worst boss fight drops. HP, 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 money. Loop. Give me a Balzer Steel. You know, a speed up is actually pretty nice. I can definitely go for a speed up pill. Stop making so much noises, poop. Oh, oh crap. What a Freaking jerk. No luck up pennies. I'm looking for tinted rocks now. Looking for anything. Woohoo! Wait, did he summon a spider? When he woohooed, he's supposed to summon poop! He's the poop man. get a quarter. Should probably, you know, leave an item pedestal up for something you don't want in case you come across a perth row or something. Whatever. I'm kind of backtracking a little bit. I should really... Creep. Should really kind of just focus on going in one direction, finding all the dead ends, and then moving on. Oh, I forgot the creep again! 
I keep forgetting those guys actually do leave creep on the ground when you kill their um their poop and their chains. That was a lot of money. I already have placenta, but maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and pick up blood clot from one of those. No. Okay, let's go in one direction. Well, he left creep behind! At least we got the HP back. And hold on, strength I believe is permanent HP up when you use it? Strength. Well, you pop it in this room. We get a speed upgrade. It's probably worth it, honestly. We'll pop the book too. With Epiphoria, we'll be firing very quickly to the right and only to the right. No explosive flies, please. Right, well, we're gonna have to change directions. Yeah, health is low, but you know what? We have the, uh... We have nine lives, so even if we die, we'll have nine tries <laughs> to kill mom's heart. There's a tinted rock in there. I just don't know how to get to it. Mm. What? I must have slowed down and hit the spike. Yeah, I don't think we can get that tinted rock. We need the ability to fly. Hanged man would be nice. What are these? Let's see. Power. Gulp. gulp. What did I gulp? It was the range upgrade. Hell yeah. Gulp the permanent range upgrade, which is freaking wonderful. So now we could go back and get one of those other trinkets. You know, we could go and get the trinket that makes the familiar shots home, and then Gish's shots will home. But I think we're just gonna go. Because we're done. Okay, we have Algiz if we need to use it. I will use it on this fight if I have to. Wow. We do a lot of damage. I think I will pick these up. I don't see a good reason not to. It's It costs one HP to pick these up. That seems like a very good trade. Because now we'll fire very slow shots that will very easily home in on other enemies. I like it. Ah, screw the other trinkets. What do we need? We don't need any of those. I'll do this though. And yeah, what do I care if I get hit and die? Dude, piercing shot, so nice. Wait, pretty fly? How did I identify the pill? Did I use a pretty fly earlier in the run? I don't remember doing that. Keep the Algiz. Algiz is for like, if I fight a boss and die six times on the chest and I have to go that direction. <laughs> it's like the last ditch effort. Should probably not use keys, but you know what? Look, we got a key back. And a speed upgrade, I'll take it. If we get another gulp pill, we'll gulp it. Power pill, you know what? We'll pop power pill on a difficult room. That wasn't a difficult room, it's just that the freaking uh, war spawned an asshole. You can't touch the legs, it's not mom's heart, or not mom's foot. Uh, freaking death, no war, whatever is it, his name is. What is it good for? Summoned a freaking exploding fly. Also, I'm gonna open this. Because I like the risk. Homing shots, be careful. I'll go back for res resistance if I have to. Okay, that one did not pay out this time. You know what?
I think that was worth it. Power pill. Piercing shots destroys these guys? Oh man, that's so good. Do I, I don't have Guppy's tail, do I? I don't think I do. We're just getting a lot of freaking gold chests. Should definitely try to find more keys in this floor before we leave. I want more items on the chest. Hey, I got one. I don't have spectral tears. I just had to check that for a second there. It seemed like I did have spectral tears, tears but I don't. I just have decent range and very slow moving bullets. That sometimes home. No, we're not gonna open that. Ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling. Okay. Should probably go get the uh, resistance pill at some point, or resistance card, rune. Algus. Gotta be careful here. I'm not gonna, you know, push my luck on dealing damage super quickly. I'm just gonna hit him as much as I can. Back off, hit him as much as I can, back off. He's dead. And we're gonna go down. I, I, I could keep exploring, but I don't like the void portal being there. I don't wanna accidentally step in it. I didn't get the card! Oh my god. The rune, whatever it is. That's unfortunate. We we kind of needed that. Well, we might not need it. Would've been good to have though. Get away from me. Oh god, I can't see. <laughs> I mean, it's nice when the shots explode, but it's like, oh shit, can't see anything. I don't think we're gonna have too much of a, of a hard time against Haunt, but then Haunt got scared because I have an item that is inflicting fear shot. Dude. Kind of hoping I can get some HP out of uh, Gluttony here. Oh, another chest, can't do anything with it. No more red flies. How did I not get hit there? No more, no more red flies. I should probably be killing um, Sloth last, because Sloth might give me a good tarot card that'll help me out. You know, Hierophant. Give me the sun, I can get some, uh, some room clearing and mapping going on. I don't have Guppy's tail, do I? I have Guppy's tail! I must have picked that up a long time ago. No wonder we've been getting so many golden chests. Well, that's a dead end, we don't need to go that way. But also, thanks, War! What is he good for? Absolutely nothing! Except for blowing me up. Ooh, that was a red fly. Money equals power. At 99 cents, I'll take it. What I need is this freaking skeleton key. Like, damage output is kind of covered right now. We're actually pretty okay on that front. I just need something that would give me Or chests. We'll take Zodiac. Random, random Zodiac for a floor. It's not Taurus. 
So I don't know what it is. We got a key! We've done it! We got holy water! We've done it! We win! Nothing can stop us now. Don't stop me now. Why is there not like a key bag? You got bomb bag, coin bag, no key bag. Whew. Thank God he died. Yo, where's the freaking boss fight? I could have used that before, but I think that it's probably more important for me to just shoot in the direction of enemies. You know, before I walk into a room, let's, you know, get a couple of tier upgrades first. Oh, we're done. I could keep exploring, but I kind of want to try to fight the boss. We did a pretty good job against uh, Isaac, so hopefully we'll do a good job against Blue Baby as well. Just be careful of the damn exploding fly in the homing shots. Thank you, flies. I think it was the flies protecting me there. Ooh, don't know what that was. Wow! <laughs> there we go. That was like a 50 minute long freaking blue baby run. If it wasn't for that early, uh, Nine lives! It would have been very awkward of a run. We would have not, have not been able to take any deals with the devil. Would have been very low on HP for most of it, because we, we did not pick up many spirit hearts or black hearts at all. We had very few HP in total for most of the run. We had Scapular, which was giving us a little bit of HP on occasion. We picked up like six spirit hearts on the caves, I think, and then that was it. There's basically no more HP for the rest of the run, minus the HP we picked up from boss fights, and uh, then just relying on not getting hit and the extra lives from nine lives. Either way, that was a pretty good run. I, I do like Eve's Mascara, but I will say we got very, very, very unlucky with the RNG on those boss drops, getting just HP, 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 Pageant boy. <laughs> it was pretty garbage. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Thank you very much for watching. Like the, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the... Not Enter the Gungeon. Binding of Isaac. Wrong game.